Well, he is the elemental outsider, the ultimate misfit, so hideous looking that he has to wear a mask. But he's also been making the ladies swoon for ages. In this week's Backstage on Broadway, Tamsa Fadal has a date with the most mysterious matinee idol of all time. In this week's Backstage on Broadway, we are meeting Broadway's 14th Phantom of the Opera. Now, we don't know the Phantom's true name, but we certainly know the name of the actor portraying him, Norm Lewis. It's the longest running show on Broadway. It's broken just about every record there is. We went backstage with Norm Lewis, the 14th Phantom, and the first African American to play the role on Broadway. Even now, still very overwhelming because I used to come here and visit my friend Hugh Pinero, who's like my brother, and he was like the Phantom, you know, for a while. You know, so I would kind of imagine being in this room, like, wow, this would be so cool if I, this was mine. And for now, it is. It's a great responsibility. You know, it feels good. You know, people want to root for you and support you, and knowing uh, the importance of of this role and um, and what's expected of this role. This character is so exposed and you have to be in top form to be able to do these songs and you know if you're off a little bit people can tell it. Two hours before showtime Norm showed us what it takes to bring Broadway's most iconic character to life. It all starts at the hands of makeup artist Thelma Pollard. She's transformed every phantom since the show began in 1988. The whole thing is to make sure that I get him out on the set on time. Is his makeup done any differently? It's different in that the color is different and you have to make sure it doesn't, the color doesn't come off on the white shirts. Right. They say, give us brown shirts, it's different. <laughs> he seems to be completely unreceptive. Norm, no newcomer to Broadway, having made his debut in the Who's Tommy in 1993, then The Little Mermaid, and he took home a Tony nomination for Porgy and Bess in 2012. Oh, I got another. But his biggest thrill in the theater so far, his meeting with the show's creator, Andrew Lloyd Webber. Seeing him in person, it was a whole other thing. And he's so, like, giving and so nice. But there's more behind this phantom. When he's not on stage, he's online. Part owner of Lolly.com, a fashion line for women. And his romantic side as the phantom is never far away. If the phantom were to bring Christine out in the town, what dress from Lolly Clothing? One of my favorites is called the Viola dress. It's this beautiful form-fitting dress and it's very sexy. Do you know how many women go, oh, it's romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Let your spirit start to soar. And if you want to hear the rest of that song, you got to come to the Majestic Theater. <laughs> this is Phantom's 26 year running on Broadway. We have to imagine there'll be 26 more at least. I'm Tamsin Fidel coming to you from the Majestic Theater for Backstage on Broadway in partnership with the Broadway Channel. And at some point next month, the Phantom of the Opera will surpass 11,000 performances at the Majestic Theater, stretching its lead as the longest running show on Broadway even farther.